Okay folks, today we're going to talk about simple AC and DC voltage and how to read them. So stick around and we'll show you how. So we're just going to take the wire, gently pull down. The cord is pretty much melted together. So there we have our end, our finished end with our... Now there's a few things about reading DC and AC voltage. Um, you should always use more than one testing method. So I'm going to show you some couple different testing methods here and then we'll go through and re review them together. Now as you can see we have three different items here. We have a, a multimeter, we have a volt tick, what everybody calls them, and then we have a plug-in, plug checker. Um, now with the volt meter you don't need anything this extravagant. You can get them at your local hardware store for 30 or 40 bucks. Um, and with the volt tick, um, you can also get those fairly cheap and the same as the plug-in tester. Now it's important that never use one method. And the reason for that is because as an electrician, um, I've gotten electrocuted a number of times simply because I trust one of these and the other one fails and I think there's no voltage there and there is voltage and I'll show you what I mean. So we'll start with the volt tick. Turn the volt tick on. And of course we can stick it in the outlet and it's going to tell us that our outlet's live and our wire's live going to whatever we have plugged in here. The same here. Okay, so in this case, um, I'm not saying to trust it, but there's been a lot of times where we've used this and it doesn't give any voltage unless you're right in it. So unless you're right in it, um, it's, always used to, it's always good to use a second method. So what we'll do is use our plug checker. So our plug checker will confirm that, of course, that there's voltage there. So we know in that case that that circuit's live um, and we're going to need to shut it off to work on. Now in addition, let's talk about the uh, multimeter tool. Now with the multimeter tool, we really have to watch it um, because what happens is, oh, and this is a perfect example. So these leads, if they're not tucked in or put away correctly, they get thrown around, they get thrown in a toolbox, they get thrown in and whatever. And what happens is, as you can see there, that's broke. So I would go to quickly use that and it might tell me the power's off and I go ahead and, you know, take the plug apart and then I get electrocuted. So that's why we always use two methods. For the purposes of this video, wow, is that ever mangled up? I gotta get those replaced. I'm going to show you how we use the multimeter to test for voltage. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the multimeter on to the squiggly little voltage line. Now that there has there's a straight line with dots in it which is meant for DC power but for this purposes of this example we're actually going to meter uh, AC voltage. So we make sure our leads are plugged in all the way and then we take our two leads, test leads here and then we just simply stick them in the outlet. Now sometimes these are a little bit hard to get in but there we're showing 124 volts, or 123 volts, 124. So in addition to that, we're also going to use a different method and double check our work to make sure that we're getting the proper uh, voltage there. Now you can see the trouble that we one can get into uh, with broken meter leads, especially if we're testing for resistance or anything like that, that we're checking out a circuit and we think that the circuit is no good and it could be the one we're looking for, or it could be the voltage that we're checking and we think it's dead and it's not, we get electrocuted. So that's why it's really extremely important to use two methods to check everything. Either the voltage meter and a volt tick or a plug checker. Don't ever depend on just one. So unfortunately with DC, when we're reading DC power like a battery, um, there's no multiple ways to check unless you get one of those little uh, checkers that has a light where you hook it to the negative and then test it with the light to the ground. You could do that of course, but we usually primarily use a voltage checker. Uh, sorry, we usually primary, primarily use a, a multimeter. So what we'll do is we'll show you how we set the multimeter and then check uh, the voltage with the multimeter. So right now this is still in AC volts. Um, what we're going to do is press the button to select the DC configuration. So right now by pressing the select button on this meter we now show that the voltage has the little straight line with the squiggly uh, the dots underneath of it which means it's in DC. 
this will not read AC. So in order to swing back and forth between the two, we need to press that button. Not all meters are the same. Some are going to have two separate settings. Um, from the voltage to the amperage to the resistance, the hertz right up through. Um, the biggest thing is to understand and, and read the user's manual on the uh, multimeter that you use. So let's go ahead and read a battery and we'll just show you how we do that. So with this meter, we're going to go ahead and stick it on DC voltage. We're going to press our select button. And of course, we're going to take our positive lead, which is our red, and touch it on the positive terminal. And we're going to take our negative lead and touch it on the negative terminal. And that's going to give us a correct voltage of 12.5, which is reading this battery. Now, if we switch these around or get them backwards, you're going to see a negative on the back of that. See the little negative sign there? That's showing that we're reading it backwards. So I guess the point from this video or what you should take from this video is never use one single method to read voltage. You should always try to use two methods uh, just to double check your work. If you want to see more videos on meters, metering, or how to check fuses, you can click up here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or pop over to our website, we'll leave a link in the description below, where all our videos are organized in a nice, friendly, searchable fashion for you. We'll see you next time.